Handout 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.8, number 41. And here we were asked to um, use a calculator to graph the equation implied by the given variation. So let's, let's figure out what the given variation is. And then I'll, I'll take some screenshots or show you some screenshots of me on my calculator. So here, again, I see y varies directly. That directly is going to be an important piece of information. And I see square of x. So whenever I hear direct variation, right, I'm going to go with multiply. All right, and this square of x is going to help me out too. So when I go to do that, I'm going to say y will be equal to k times. All right, and again, I'm using multiplication because of the phrase directly. And then I need to do square of x. And that comes because it says literally square of x. So I'm going to put x squared. All right, and then on top of it, they gave us our complete set of information. Here's our ordered pair. So I'm going to plug in 3 for y and 2 for x. So when I do that, I'm going to get 3 is equal to 4k. Or really, I'm going to say k is equal to 3 fourths. And that allows me, instead of writing this general variation equation, I can write my specific one, y would be equal to 3 fourths of x squared. So there is my variation equation. OK, so all I did next was I plugged it into my y1 on my graphing calculator. And like always with a math question, you want to hit zoom six. And that's what it would look like. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.